Hi everybody, Super Rainbow Queen back in today with part two of a hundred and fifty dollar grocery haul. Part two. So if you haven't watched the first video, go watch the Aldi's haul. It'll say $150 grocery haul part one, and this will be $150 grocery haul part two. Okay? There's two different stores, and I'll put the name of the stores at each one, but it's going to be a part one and a part two. So please make sure you go watch the other video, okay? Now, let's get right into it. This store is another local store, you guys, and it's called Solo. Okay? S-O-L-O-W. Exactly what it sounds like. Okay? So... The first thing I'm going to share with you, of course, I'm pretty sure you've seen this, is Disinfect Spray. They had it for $1.19. Of course, you can get it for a dollar. But my local store, Cubs, did not have this kind right here. They didn't have no Disinfect Spray no more. She said they stopped selling it. I don't know why, but they did. They stopped selling it. So anyway, Disinfect Spray, I needed some. You guys, get your spray on. Get your Disinfect Spray on, you guys. It's summertime. You need to keep everything disinfect any time of the year, but especially now, colds and flus and stuff going around. Okay, that was one nineteen, you guys. These right here, these Dixie Place was were one ninety nine, you guys. You know how much these cost in the store in the regular store? I just looked at them in Cubs the other day. They were two ninety nine, two ninety nine for the same ones. So I paid $1.99 and I purchased two of these. Let me fix it. Two of these Dixie plates. Okay. And this all we need is this size, you guys. You know, for now. Unless I'm cooking like get ready to cook for my daughter's graduation. I'll get some bigger ones. And that's not till next month. But for now, these work just fine for us. You know, sandwiches, polishes, hot dogs, a couple tacos, pizza, slices of pizza like we had last night. You don't need nothing big. You don't need that big stuff. Next from Solo. Oh, he double bagged it. What is this? Oh, something that I didn't need that I forgot I even purchased. But I've slowed down a lot on the pop, you guys, because we be messing with my stomach. But I had to get these big reds. <laughs> I purchased two of these, you guys. So, yeah, that's going in my little stash stash. Okay. <laughs> yes okay and next I like these bags these are not the name of the store bags right here but these are some big sturdy bags right here you guys so I keep these what you keep them for well I use them for when I'm cooking and I want to throw away meat packages and stuff like I need to do my ground turkey meat you know, and vacuum seal it once it... It's best to use vacuum seal stuff, you guys. It's best to have it, like, semi-frozen. So, I got a couple things I need to vacuum seal. But I got a vacuum seal, but I'm going to show y'all today. I'm going to do that before I even finish getting my day. Anyway, Guy Ferrari, Guy Ferrari, y'all know Guy. From Guy's Dive, Driving, Dives. Dive, Driving, Dives. Y'all know this man. Pepperoni marinara sauce. These were $169 or $179, you guys. I had to get it. I never tried it before. I was so excited. I watched him all the time. I was like, ah, I got to try this. Yeah, so I only purchased two. Okay, you guys let me know. If you try him, this kind right here, let me know. Guy Ferre pepperoni marinara pasta sauce, Okay. My next spaghetti, you already know I'm using this. Yes. Or whatever I decide to use it for. Okay, so I got that. This is a small. This is a real, real small one, you guys. But with this and the stuff I got from all these, I think I've done great with the budget that I was working with. I'm talking about including, including paper plates and everything. This is something that we used to have coming up as kids. You guys remember these? Pizza Puffs. Look at this. The original Pizza Puff. Okay. 
Yes. It come eight in there. These were eleven dollars and something, you guys. Okay. This stuff right here is not a game. And I make sure I check the expiration date and it don't expire till March 2020. So yes, that's the original one. And this is February 2020. Also, the beef one. Okay, these were $11.99 a piece. They're gonna be real excited. I'm gonna try um I'm gonna try one of the beef ones. And because I've been trying beef lately, you guys. The doctor told me to try it sometimes, you know. Anyway, long story short, I'm gonna try one of them beef ones in the air fry with them crinkle cut fries. I'm putting mine in the air fryer when I do one. Last bag. This is a short haul, you guys. Now, this is the best deal, you guys. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm finna do a clap for this before I even do it or a snap. Honey, you ready? And this item I've been looking for for years. And they saying they have had them. No, they have not had them. I've been there. And my cousin goes there more than I do. She said she would have saw them. And I know she would have told them. You guys, check this out. Ah! Turkey chops. Are you kidding me here? Look how much I pay for all these turkey chops. Turkey chops. Let's see. Bam. Bam. Here we go again, you guys. Oh, my gosh. When I went to Chicago one time, I had bought turkey chops back on the bus. I had it all froze and had it every, you know, how you're supposed to have stuff. But when I seen these, I wanted to take the whole freezer. But I was on a budget. Look at that. Turkey chops. And this one was $5.86. That's two. Four ninety one. That's three. That's four. Five twenty two. Turkey. Turkey chops. <laughs> Girl, I'm getting too excited, y'all. I'm dropping stuff now. Yo, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all a little quick story, and this is the last one. Y'all ready? Turkey chops. Four dollars and sixty cent. Turkey chops. Bam. Yes, woohoo, ladies and gentlemen. I have been searching for years for turkey chop. I even went there years ago and asked, and they said, What is a turkey chop? That's exactly what they told me because they have a fresh meat count in the back. What is a turkey chop? They must have got them recently. I know they did because they ain't been had these, but honey, deal of the day. I love them, and I know they're gonna taste good in the oven. I could probably even cook it. In the air fryer, and I'm finna barbecue. I might even throw me some on the grill, or I got a little George Foreman grill. Ladies and gentlemen, your girl has scored, honey. So that's it for the day. Just came in to share with you guys my great finds. This was also a great find right here. I was real excited to see these. I'm telling you, I wanted to pick up three. I was real excited to see him because I watched him on Divers Drive and Dives, y'all. I'm telling you, I love this guy. He eats so good. I'm excited to taste it. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to get out of here. And remember to watch the Aldi haul, grocery haul part one. And this is part two. And thank you for all my new subscribers. I see y'all out there. And thank you guys for all the comments. I just got back in town Sunday night about 11 something. And I'll be doing a live probably, I think, Thursday. Thursday afternoon, you guys, I'll be doing a live. So, of course, you'll see that or whatever. Because I'm going to get this video, get these videos, grocery haul posted up. Then next video you see probably will be me doing going live. So, I'll probably post this video tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Yeah. I'll post this on a Wednesday. And then to let y'all know that if you watch this video, you will know to be watching out Thursday morning or evening. I'll be going live. So thank you. Bye. Turkey chops. Yes. <laughs>